Okay, for, so for um, the second part of this stream, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing music composition on the piano. Um, hold on, I should fix the streaming window specifically. There, that's a lot better. So, usually what I do on the piano is I... So I have a melody on the right hand, and then and then a chord on the left hand. That's really the basics of a lot of music. Is that you'll have the beats on on the on the left hand in the bass, and you'll have the melody on the right hand or the high notes. So, um, let's just do a simple, um, simple, um, melody in C major. like to um, change the keys from C major to C major augmented then it just, so you, I gone from um, C major to F major so that's an important part so um, if I were to demonstrate that when you end a piece you want to go back to your home key that's always important usually you start from a major um, a dominant to a tonic and it's not like so that would sound weird in a piece so you would go from the major So you want to be careful never to go from that will not end the piece in like the proper traditional sense. So there you're going from the dominant to the tonic. Um, let, let me demonstrate this exactly. dominant to the tonic. So there's just basic principles that have to be done to um, properly compose music. 
So let, let's do something from a major key to a minor key. Let's start from home. So the interesting part about this is So when you put these four notes together, it doesn't sound right, but when you invert the E and then you resolve to a D, it sounds nice. So they're just principles like that. also works in other keys. Um, let, let's try C major with the So that's a good way to demonstrate that. Um, what else? Yeah, let's do a melody and develop it in a minor key. can hear how I'm in the minor key. So what I've done here, so I've done a D minor, D minor seventh chord. Minor seventh chord with a double A, and then we're, we're, we're doing so. Here's technically a polytonality because and then we go back to the home key and we keep the the high G note for balance.
So you can see how that builds up tension in the music. And that's really what makes pieces good is that tension and resolve. And here, by those types of explanations, you can see an insight into how I really go and write music specifically. So for me, melodies are very beautiful, but to accompany a melody, you always, always need um, a harmony to accompany the melody. Here we're starting from C minor, C, C6, a C6. And then we go to an F major 6 chord. And then we resolve on seven four. This is a, this is a and then we go to a G major chord. So the, always you want the music to take a, a, a journey. So here the music is very beautiful. So if I just play an F7 at its regular position, it wouldn't work well. So I inverted the E an octave up. Until the F, up until the F major seven, I haven't put any tension in. And notice I hold the tension instead of making it pass very quickly. Otherwise, the music would have sound very unbalanced. Attention. So usually in music, it's not really, um, it's a forbidden rule to have two notes next to each other like that, but, but here, one, it's a passing note, and two, it builds tension and immediately resolves, so that's why it's fine. 
Otherwise, the music would be too straightforward. So the music goes somewhere instead of the music goes on a road that twists and turns instead of a road that is straight. And a good analogy for that is like in society, um, they tell you to take like the easiest path, but often the path that is most rewarding is the one that is not straight and that is difficult and complex to navigate around it. So that's sometimes how I think about music. So, I guess that is 90 minutes. So, I guess that is it for the stream. Um, I guess I can go edit it down for something more digestible later. But, um, hopefully that helps people understand how, how what I'm thinking and how exactly I think in my composition process specifically. So, it's like, not mysterious. It's... My ideas don't just come out of nowhere. There's like actual theory and like rules and logic behind how I compose music specifically. Um, thanks for your time um, watching this stream. Um, I guess, yeah, it's been 90 minutes now, so I'm going to go end the stream.